guys welcome back to my channel the elite nurse lifestyle where we discuss all things fashion most importantly fragrances if this is your first time here thank you for joining us and if you like the content please like share and subscribe uh, for all my followers thank you so much for returning and so today this is going to be, guys, my first haul, but it's a wish list haul. I've had, guys, you don't even want to see my wish list for my fragrances. I've had this list forever, and I've just decided to take the plunge on getting some of the fragrances that I really wanted to get. And I found quite a few of them for a steal, so I was just like, you know what, let's just do it. Um, some of them actually there was a couple that I bought from last year right before Christmas but because of shipping issues didn't get to me there was one in particular I was waiting for before I did my 2020 most used fragrances video and it was just taking forever to the point where I had to email the company and asked you know what was going on because every time I checked the shipping um tracking information nothing was had has changed for like two weeks and so i emailed them and they were like um it is on the way and i told them listen if i didn't get my fragrance within a certain time frame i was gonna have to file a claim <laughs> and sure enough two days later it popped up so anyway so these are fragrances that I have had on my wish list forever and I just decided to take the plunge so let's get into it so the first one which is the one that I was just telling you about that I wanted forever was bouquet ideal and um, this one I bought literally Christmas Eve but it didn't get to, I was trying to hold out to do my 2020 video, most used fragrances, and try to include this one. But it took so long to get to me. It didn't come until like the second week in January. And so I just had to go ahead and put the video out. And so anyway, it finally came. And of course, you all know how... Zerzhov fragrances are this is beautiful fragrance guys and the reason I wanted this um that time of year is because it has nutmeg and cinnamon in it and I love those fragrances those notes in fragrances and it reminds me of the holiday so so this is what it looks like I'm not going to go over too much of what the notes are because it's going to be quite a long video if I do that and so this is what it looks like Oh, my lighting is like so bright. Okay, there we go. Bouquet Ideal. And it comes out like this. And it sits in this beautiful foam uh, packaging here. And then my daughter loves this one, by the way. You take it out. Oh, let me just show you what the, the back of the uh, box looks like. So, here it is. You can take it out. <laughs> That's the back and the front like that, right? And so we have the fragrance here. It's so pretty. And guys, this is like a warm, spicy, really beautiful fragrance it dries down a little creamy i'm not going to do a review like i said but i'm obsessed my daughter absolutely loves this she's been hounding me to give this to her and i think i'm going to give it to her because guess what i've discovered i literally bought two fragrances that smell identical so when i got this fragrance and I sprayed it on. I was like, wait a minute. I have this fragrance already. And sure enough, I started spraying my fragrances. And this is the exact same fragrance, guys. 
the exact same thing. They both have tobacco, they both have cinnamon and nutmeg, and um, uh, uh, this has, uh, you know, they, the same exact notes, okay? And I so I looked up all the notes, and they were literally the same exact thing. And I sprayed them on separate arms, and the exact scent, the exact scent. So my golden powder from uh, the House of Oud is literally the same thing as Bouquet Ideal from Zerzhov, okay? Um, one thing I have to say though, with the dry down, I kind, it dries down. This one is a little bit more potent. And so I, I kind of prefer the dry down with this one because it lasts longer and it's a little bit more, um, elevated. So, but literally the same scent. If you have this, you really have this fragrance. So, so that was my first, uh, purchase. Oops. That was my first purchase. And then to keep it on par with the Zerzhov theme, I got this one, Alexandria 2. I've been eyeing this one for a while, guys. I had it on my list. And so it comes in this box here. And then you slide it out. It comes in another box. And the packaging, guys, it's just... Zerzhov, they know what they're doing. It's just stunning. So this is what it says. I hope you guys can see that. Alexandria 2 has that there. The X for Zerzhov. And that's the back right there. And so it comes in this beautiful case. The X the name of the fragrance and that's the bottom there it opens up like this and guys this is it's not even paper it's like almost like a like a suede material okay and it opens up and there sits the fragrance stunning absolutely stunning and so um here you go here's the fragrance it is so beautiful um it's got the a for alexandria 2 right there and of course it has the name it's the details it's like the name is right there Zerzhov. and they even have an x inside of the cap isn't that so cool and so for this one stunning fragrance stunning fragrance it's warm spicy and you know my goal for um 2021 because this is the thing i have beautiful fragrances right all of my fragrances that i have i love except for maybe about three which is the like and that's interlude um that one was just totally not what i expected but i've i've come to like it and appreciate it but it's not like a love like my other fragrances then there's other ones that i love the fragrance but it's headache inducing for me and that's instant crush and kirk by um tiziana terenzi love the fragrances but it's like beast mode so when i wore it it gave me a headache and so i don't reach for those often but all my fragrances are loves okay i'm not giving away anything <laughs> i'm not gonna be uh you know swapping anything because i love all of them all of them and so my goal for 2021 was to venture into like a more unique kind you know venture into more unique kind of fragrances because all my fragrances they're almost they're like pretty you know i i'm a my favorite genre of fragrances are oriental fragrances and florals and so florientals i love those and then it would be the you know the spicy warm type fragrances almost earthy and then like the freshies and 
So this year, I just said, you know, I wanted more unique fragrances that you don't hear everyone talking about, you know, fragrances that are bomb. They're like hidden gems. And so this is why I even bought BDK Gris Charnel. That's usually not the kind of fragrance I go for because it's more earthy, more green. But when I tried that fragrance, it was just like, whoa. And that's where my, you know, I said, for 2021, I was going to stick, you know, get out of my typical pretty orange blossom, you know, uh, oriental fragrances and just get into ones that I typically wouldn't look at. And so Alexandra is just that. It opens with like this, a little bit of an animalic note. You can smell the, um, uh, the oud. And so it's a little bit animalic in the first five minutes, but the dry down is just simply stunning, stunning. And so that's that. Not going to go over the notes. I'm going to do completely separate reviews. And then, <laughs> should I save this for last? Yeah, I'm going to save it for last. Then there's this one. Oh my God. I had a sample of this about two years ago. I bought it but I didn't pull the trigger because I got a sample of this and Lyra and some other ones, um, Sunshine by Amouage, all of those, and they all had tobacco, right? And I love the scent of, and back to black, I had sample, I got samples of those all at the same time, but, and they all had tobacco. I love the smell of tobacco in fragrances, right? But sometimes on my skin, it tends to go a little sour, that's the reason I don't have back to black because I love the scent, but on my skin, it tends to turn a little bit sour. So I was hesitant to get it, but then I kept trying, um, this one and I was just like, oh my God, I want it. I want it. And it smelled pretty good because the tobacco was not that prominent in here. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to go for it. And then when you see the bottle guys, <laughs> you're going to know why I decided to go with this okay so this is the packaging back right there and it comes out into this beautiful box this case and guys <laughs> it opens up and it's called hedonist by victoria minya okay and it is stunning stunning absolutely stunning look at this bottle guys oh my god look at the inside it has crystals gold crystals um in there and the only thing it, it's just pure luxury pure luxury the bottom is like that look at that i could just play with that all day but the only thing, the top, it's a little bit lightweight. There's no weight to it, you know. It's a little, um, it, for such a, a luxurious bottle, you would think the top would be a little bit more substance to it. There would be a little more substance to it, but I love it. It's so beautiful. And this fragrance is all about peach. It's peach, but it has tobacco to give it, you know, so it brings it down where it's not so sweet and overbearing. So the tobacco rounds it out and makes it a little, gives it a little bit more depth. But this is just <laughs> everything. Um, so that's that. And then, guys, this is going to be a longer video than I thought. <laughs> There is this, guys. Clive Christian. You know I had to do it. It's been on my list forever. And, oh my God. It comes out of this box here. And then it sits in this beautiful, I think it's wooden, wooden case. And it has a pamphlet here. And these beautiful, stunning fragrances, guys. I am just obsessed. Obsessed. I am seriously going to have to get full bottles of all these because I'm just obsessed with all three. All three are beautiful fragrances. Um, X, you know, that's... Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, jeez. X, guys. 
this it's like a fruity shepra and for shepra fragrances it can be either floral or it can be fruity and so this one is a fruity shepra and it is stunning it's got rhubarb pineapple um it's got jasmine just <laughs> tons of notes that i'm just like obsessed with and so of course you know delina had rhubarb in it and i love that fragrance and so i was like you know i have to get these because they're just so different it smells like when you smell these fragrances you cannot particularly identify um some of the notes you know like how you can definitely pick out some notes in fragrances these are so well blended and it's really difficult to pinpoint what it is that you're smelling and so this is just stunning and then number one oh, oh my god this is more of like a floral warm spicy fragrance and it's it's it dries down a little bit creamy as well stunning fragrance i'm seriously gonna have to get the bigger bottles for these when i can and then there is 1872 just oh my god this one is more of like a a fruity type scent and it's fresher still stunning it's not like just like a, a cheap fruity fragrance you know um it's it's done really well actually one of the i'm so surprised that i love this one because i'm i'm usually not a big fan of like fruity scents but this is just absolutely gorgeous and so i will have to do a separate review for those for you but how beautiful is this I'm so obsessed I am obsessed so that was that and then oh finally the last one oh, my heart Woo. guys fragrance Dubois mm, I just I'm obsessed with this house okay obsessed I have so many samples from this house that I've been wanting and I've had Oojan Intense which I absolutely love absolutely love I have Santal Complet stunning creamy fragrance sandalwood fragrance it is just gorgeous but I had to go with this one because it's rose and I'm not typically a rose fan, but when I smelt this rose, I was like, that's the rose I wanna be known for wearing. You know, it's, it's gorgeous. And so this is it right here. And guys, it comes with this uh, little case here and it has a little oud, oud chip in it. The fragrance has oud and so, it comes with a card that tells you the plantation in which they got the oud. So it's it's the details for me, okay? And this is why I don't mind spending money for fragrances like this because the details are just immaculate. It's immaculate. And so this is, it's like a velvet case that it comes in. I'm sure you've seen this all over YouTube and it sits in this beautiful red satin or silk um, bed. I think it's called a corfette or something like that. Um, and then this is the fragrance here. And for the fragrance, we've got Oud Rose Intense. How stunning is that? And and it's the packaging again. Look at the details of that bottle. And it has the logo there. And uh, so for me, though, 
this rose oh my god oh my god i think this is how i'm pulling up valentine's day okay this is what i'll be wearing for valentine's day because this rose is just not like nothing i've smelt before and um i'm gonna have to do a separate video for you but guys that was my haul <laughs> It was a lot. I didn't think it was going to be this long. So tell me which of these fragrances you have and let me know if there are any that's on your wish list that you are planning on trying. And so I'm going to be doing separate reviews for these fragrances and um, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.